We shall learn how we, while we still live in ignorance, wrongly see our body as some boundaries. It is not any boundaries. It is porous, penetrable, mostly space and not resisting. There is no resistance whatsoever. There is no obstacle whatsoever. Nothing to overcome when we take a trip to Gladheimar of consciousness. Mind can go wherever it wishes to go. Mind expands to infinity. Our individual consciousness living in this present body is not at all confined or bounded to the physiology we move in in this lifespan. This body is only a means to live a lifespan, ivy, and create a slipness so we can nisa neither take a trip into Ausgarder every now and then. Icer in Ausgarder are as Reyin in Ragnarsjöt, as Tivar in Tivatun, the unified field of total natural law. Here all intelligence displays itself. Singular aus, plural aisir. Cases in plural aisir, nominative, aisi accusative, dative ausum, genitive ausa, where from we get ausa true, meaning to be true to aisir. Ausa truer, genitive of ausa true. Preferably do not use that belief in, as belief has become some blind rigid belief, not at all the meaning of the term belief originally. Intelligence displays as creation. Our body needs this intelligence and intelligence needs our body for the supreme purpose, evolution. See what I mean? We should know that all particles are almost only space with some flickering gungnir here and there. This we do know. We make particles in our mind. Our body is made of gungnir, the flickering fucking instable capricious vibrations. Just see how Berlwerker uses wormholes. Mind can expand to infinity, as we do when we practice Nisa Nidur, to Lokfaralundur Barri. We go to Nidbjörg, to Ausgarður, to Gladheimar, whenever we want to imbibe the perfect thimble runes in the form of mid of wisdom. Here all is flawless. Once we come in, we can expand to infinity. We might need some time to see clearly, and that will come. We start to perceive the awareness of the perceiver, us, as unbounded, which means that the perceiver is wider than any imagined boundaries. We start to see that the whole world is but almost all space. And then we see what this space is in reality. It is Ginnunga Cup. We become he who observes. The observer is established in himself. All tendencies of the observer emerge from here. This state of being established in oneself, where he is, staying in himself, Sarupyan, in his own form. This state is called the self-referral state, as it refers to nothing other than itself. All the tendencies of the observer, us, remain here, within the self-referral state. And when we walk in our physiology anew, it, the physiology, has become finer, and is now not ever again seen as boundaries. Isn't this somehow beautiful? <laughs> Should be taught in all schools. We have to know why we are born and what we are really doing here. Osmal shall be used and understood in all schools so that our parents know the purpose of being born. <laughs>